Hello there everyone, welcome to this video. You know who I am, E.T. Templar, Alien Crusader from Beyond the Heavens, here to entertain and destroy through the power of me magic. So I got a new phone, and hopefully the quality is a bit better. Uh, hopefully you don't see how truly nasty this table is. But anyways, today we are looking at um, Venom Killer Taipan. Um, well, that was mildly racist, but you know what? Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, so, the, the greatest snacks I've ever came across, or drinks that I've came across, were the ones that were, like, a mistake. Or the ones that weren't, like, intentional. Venom is one of them. And Venom has, like, watermelon, lemon, low-calorie, low-sugar. So, they do, uh, Venom does have the lower-calorie, low-sugar stuff. And, uh, so far, let's take a look at the calories on this. Holy free holy, 160 calories. So, it's about 20 calories less of, you know, a normal soda pop. And, of course, you have all the usual good shit in here. Night, uh, Nicin, Reboflavin, Reboflavin, however the hell you'd say that. Uh, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and, of course, you taurine and all the, good, all the good shit a crackhead needs to stay energized. Well, not a crackhead, but no, I mean, let's try this flavor. Hmm. Mango is not too bad. Of course, I have Black Mamba. I have a whole wide variety of colors, and the cool thing Venom does is each flavor has a different eye. So, of course, you see the little, which is quite obvious, the snake's eye. And they all named after different, like, brands of snakes, which is kind of cool, I guess. They have, like, Death Rattler and uh, Black Mamba, and I think that's pretty cool for a, uh energy drink company to do that. And it's not, I mean... That's kind of cool that they have, like, the different brands have specific names and the fact that they're named after snakes. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, this mango, fl mango? This mango flavor is not too bad. Yeah, and, um, these, uh, I noticed the lower calorie, uh, Venoms. Are a little bit more mellow, and it seems to me. I, I but of course, everyone's like metabolisms are different when it comes to energy drinks. Uh, but for me, it seems like these venoms are a little bit more like mellower, and not a lot of people drink uh, energy drinks because it gives them anxiety, and there's maybe it gives some people the jitters. So it, it really depends on your metabolism. But if you have the same fucked up like molasses slow metabolism like I do, uh, you can go to sleep on one of these. You could um, drink one and it not be uh, as effective or as um, anxiety inducing as some of the other ones. But I don't have anxiety when I drink energy drinks, but some people do and that would f fucking suck. It really would. But that flavor is pretty pretty damn good. The mango. And of course, one, one more thing I'm going to talk about is these things. So, these are cherry sours. And uh, there's two for ten, so I got, like, two of these, and I got two Atomic Fireball, like, hard candy jawbreakers. I always loved those things when I was a kid, which, again, I discovered those on Halloween one one night eons ago, and I love them ever since. And these are a, a happy, like, surprise that I came across. So what they are is, these are actually cherries with a candy coating. Like, a, kind of a hard candy coating. And uh, these things, oh my god, if you're a Cherries fan, if you love Manishino Cherries, you love these. Slathers Cherry sour Sours! I can't talk. I swear I'm not drunk. <laughs> but yeah, these Cherry Sours, again, is another one of these, like, happy actions I came across. And the story how I discovered Venom was... I told a family member, I was like, hey, get me a Monster Energy drink. And of course, they, they found one of the cheapest things and brought it back. And I was like, oh, hey, that's not a monster. Well, what the fuck? But then I tried it. I was like, well, damn. That's, I mean, and it's cheaper, too. It's like 99 It's only a dollar. But, of course, that depends on which convenience store and where you buy it. 
Uh, it says 99 cents, but the place where I got this was like 205, so they're kind of being sneaky with uh, own it for 99 cents, but it's really like two bucks. But anyways, that's bitching about price. It doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, the greatest foods and snacks you will ever discover in your life will be the ones that someone that you accidentally discover. So if you happen to see these Slather Cherry Sours, uh, they're pretty damn good. They're they're freaking amazing. And of course, for the price, if you get two for two dollars, you know that's that's not too bad, especially if you're at like a highway robbery like convenience store. And plus, there's quite a there's quite a few in here. Let's see if there's a. a so if we're about four serving sizes per container, that's about 100 calories. But of course, how about these things? Yeah, 20 grams of sugar. Holy, free holies. So uh, obviously not for people who are diabetic or um, people avoiding sugar for diet reasons. Oh uh, yeah, corn syrup. <laughs> sugar cor corn syrup is like number two on the list. So yeah, probably not the healthiest of like candies, but I, I I swear by the flavor of these things, they're really good. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this video of me talking about Venom Energy Drinks and uh, Cherry Sours. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, dislike, comment below. And of course, in the description, uh, there are links to donations if you want to support this channel. And uh, I also have a subscribe star, which I do post uh, podcasts and additional content if you're curious or if you want to see more additional content that I put out there for free, you so can. I do put music and uh, other shit on there. Uh, I haven't uploaded anything too recently, which I'll change that after this video. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy. God bless. And uh, yeah. See you next time. Patriotism is dead. There's only rebels and tyrants now. Strings. A world ready for the righteous and the pure to inherit. I don't believe in surrenders. Oh, I still got my saber, Reverend. Didn't turn it into no cross yet, either. I'm taking over this territory. <laughs>